as the ripple effects politics of the present administration of the All Progressive Congress APC in Nigeria continue to rattle many Nigerians, particularly low-income families. Asaba correspondent Akumeji Roll Friday spoke with some doubters in Asaba the state capital on how they are coping with the hardship. Mrs. Lota Modi, a trader and a model of four at Ogogono Market, sells foodstuff. To have businesses slow as the reality of things have brought changes to virtually everything including food. The culinary taste, vehicle movement and other lifestyles have changed, no thanks to the Naira float and subsidy removal policies of the government which have affected the prices of commodities in the market. I don't really know. I don't really know. Because in fact, I don't know what to say. Because going by the way things are going all around, for people to feed with their children, to eat three uh, square meals a day, is very difficult. If you say affect is an understatement, it is adversely killing Nigerians gradually. You see people wearing clothes are moving about, most of them are gone. BP and all other illnesses have emitted from this uh, instability in prices. You wake up every morning, like my wife, you give her money to go to the market today, go and come back and say, I couldn't buy anything today. So, and there is the, the, the government is not employing, the government is not increasing salary, the, there is nothing that is being increased when it talks of your income. Right now, Nigerians have been placed in a, in a state of confusion, hopelessness, and uh, the future is very uncertain for a lot of Nigerians. So naturally, as Nigerians, we are very resilient people. That is why you've not started hearing of um, suicide and all that. We are resilient people, but I must tell you, we are not finding it easy. The inflation rate is at its peak. And the bad part of it all is that we are not doing transaction in Nigeria in dollars, no longer in Naira. So that is the reason why we are having this Naira deflation issue in this country. Every transaction you are doing now is equivalent to a dollar. It's all quantified in dollars. So for that reason, our Naira is really going down. In fact, if you say floating, you see something that is floating. Our Naira is deepened, is buried to the ground. The very unfortunate thing about us in this country, we don't have a, a definite base of value our currency. So the Naira today is not the same Naira tomorrow. Our Naira cannot compete favorably with other currencies of the world. It's unfortunate. Meanwhile, we are supposed to be the giant of Africa. But are we really giants? And maybe we are sleeping giants. So we need to wake up and we need to do the necessary, necessary things and see how we can redefine ourselves as, a, as individuals. So the Naira float is, is, is for me, it is, it is a question of having people dying in their own country. That uh, I don't want to say that I'm happy with what's happening in the, the financial industry, particularly with the CBN. Okay, a whole lot of things were done without considering you and I and the decisions they took. They just took it at the bourgeois level, not thinking what happens to all of us. And that's where we are. Uh, it is sad. And a country like Nigeria, where so much is available, the people are still suffering. So the only solution is for government to think of alternative energy sources, or in the interim, invest the savings so far realized from the subsidy remover to revamping the existing um, refineries in the country, such that if we, because over 40 percent of our foreign exchange demands goes to service importation of fuel. Now, if we're able to refine our local um, uh, fuel uh, consumption in Nigeria here, it means we will eliminate that 40 percent uh, forex pressure on the naira. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.